So I think everyone, you know, when you walk on the beach, can see plastic straws, bottle caps, plastic bags. It's very much a very visible issue, plastic pollution. But ghost gear is one of these issues that you don't know about until you look underwater. Ghost gear is fishing gear that is lost or abandoned at sea. It can continue to catch marine life for years and damage marine environments like coral reefs. It has an economic cost as well costing fishers and coastal communities millions of dollars in lost catch and threatening global food security. The Triple J is really the first global organization that is trying to tackle this on a global scale. The Global Ghost Gear Initiative hosted by Ocean Conservancy is an international collaboration of over 130 member organizations, including fishers, fishing companies, academia, NGOs, and governments all cooperating on a global scale to prevent gear from being lost, mitigate its impacts when it does get lost, and remove gear from the most sensitive habitats. The Triple GI is a movement. It's a platform is what it is. It really does feel like a family, even though we're separated by thousands and thousands of miles. The Triple GI is trying to provide solutions in areas where they just haven't traditionally existed. If a net is being lost in Indonesia, it might end up in Australia. So collaboration is really important because gear loss in one nation might affect a completely different nation. And so that's why global collaboration is so important because an action in one area doesn't have any effect if another country or not an organization isn't collaborating with them. Y es muy importante porque cada arte de pesca que esta iniciativa retira de nuestros entornos acuáticos es una oportunidad más para las especies de vivir. Y eso es súper importante porque, por ejemplo, México es uno de los países que reportan mayor producción pesquera. Estamos hablando de millones de toneladas. Entonces, es un país además con 17 estados que tienen costa. Eh, depende mucho de la pesca y las comunidades eh, pesqueras, los pescadores y las pescadoras as we think about the next three, four, five, ten years, seeing that increase in awareness snowball into action um, and helping kind of everybody across the seafood supply chain realize the role that they have to play in that and it being synergistic and not antagonistic. Generally, fishers don't ever want to lose their gear. It's expensive and the means by which they help feed their world and their own families. However, gear can get lost unintentionally due to things like severe weather, snags beneath the surface, and interaction with other set gear and marine traffic. Fishers and the fishing industry are increasingly becoming aware of the impacts of ghost gear and are working to be part of the solution. We start with risk assessment, so they're looking at their supply chain to see where there's the highest risk for gear loss. A lot of them have sustainability efforts, but this is adding another layer and component onto it. We've got a number of different what we call solutions projects around the world, and they are ultimately working with local communities, for example in the Caribbean, Vanuatu, Indonesia, Africa, and that's working with local communities to try and set up a grounding in order to manage ghost gear locally. And then those projects can then be replicated in other locations. The Triple GI is a global response to a global problem, seeking to make thriving aquatic environments for all. So hopefully my vision for the future would be to see fishing communities not suffering because of fishing gear loss, not having to replace their nets over and over again, or have the tools to retrieve them if needed, to not see cluttered beaches, not see cluttered fishing grounds, not see animals being entangled, uh, pollution everywhere. That would be my vision, that both communities can thrive on healthy oceans, that animals can be safe and protected, and that we can all be better from it.